somebody out there with an RPG who wants to put your name on it. Okay? So you remember that. And you leaders remember that when you roll out of here. The best way you can deter them is by doing what this battalion does best. Take the fight to them, look like you mean business, be professional and ready to go. And they're not going to take you on, they're cowards. They're going to try to blow up something next to the road, they're going to try to take a pot shot at you and, and run. But they're going to take this battalion, they're not going to take this battalion on face to face, okay? Because they know better. But you guys will take it to them, okay? So be alert, and like I said, we're going to take everybody back home same way we brought them over here, okay? That's what we got to promise each other. Okay, man, I'll let you go. Uh, thanks for what you're doing. I appreciate it. For you leader, for your leadership, for you soldiers, and most of your accounts here, thanks for what you do, okay? I'm proud of you. Okay, man, that's it. Thanks. Oh, oh. Back down right away.
Yeah. I'm going to start talking anyway here. Can you hear me back there? Oh, All right, great. Hey, listen, it's really great to be here with you. I've uh, been on the road now. I, I took over on the first Uh Had to do a couple things in Washington. We got on the road, uh, and we've been on our way around there meeting soldiers and taking a look at the situation around the world. We've been uh, over the last week or so up uh, through uh, K2, going up into Afghanistan, came down all the way through Afghanistan, uh, meeting soldiers, and getting the lay of the land all the way down through the uh, those areas there. Got uh, about two nights ago, I guess, got into Kuwait, met with General uh, McKernan, and have been working our way back up and around uh, to Iraq to take a look at things. Uh, today, Alone, I think we've been to uh, the uh, the 101st, uh, all up through their area, and are now finishing up, coming down through the 4th ID. I think this is the last uh, battalion that we're coming to serve. But we've really had a good look at what's going on, and I really appreciate uh, what everybody's done. Let me tell you, there's uh, a couple things here that uh, I really want you to know. The first thing is, is that I'm absolutely proud of you all, all of you, and what you've done. And not only what you've done in combat, but what you've done to win the peace and the hard things that you're doing now, which in many respects are, are hard. The, what I don't want you to do is to lose your edge and to remember that, uh, you know, that there are still bad guys out there and that you've got to remain uh, balanced and aggressive and uh, to keep your head up. But you're, you've just done magnificent. The second thing I want to tell you is the people of America think you're great. I, I, can't, I can't remember in all of my years of service or my experience at any time that the United States Army and the Armed Forces of the United States have been held in as high a regard as they are today. And you burned that. The view they got through embedded reporters and the kinds of things they've seen go on uh, over here have absolutely uh, uh, earned the respect of the American people and people of the world. So congratulations on that. It makes me absolutely proud to be associated with you. Uh, last thing I'll tell you is that uh, one of the reasons I'm getting around and doing what I'm doing is because we're going to have to put some changes into the Army. And we're going to be involved in these kind of things for a long time to come. And part of what we're going to have to do is organize the Army in a way that we can sustain this level of operation uh, at lower cost. And so. Uh, an awful lot of what I'm doing is talking to leadership like your commanding general here, General Ordierno, getting his his views, views of General Petraeus up the 101st, and others uh, around the Army, so we can figure out how we're going to get this set up to, to offer more predictability in your lives, more balance in terms of what capability that we've got to provide, and take a look at how we're going to apply this Army capability in the future. And it's a big task. And, uh, you know, it's it. Uh, it's something that I know that we're up to, but it's going to take a lot of energy on everybody's part to do. So thanks for everything that you do and for everything that you're going to do. I look forward to, to uh, serving with you. And the one thing that I will promise you is that uh, I'll do everything I can do to ensure that you get honest, straightforward leadership out of, out of me. And that we will try to create the very best environment we can that, uh, that you can succeed in what you do. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell you uh, the things are going to be easy because they won't be. 
situation. A lot of times they've had, we're going to have to shoulder it together. But I'm very proud to be involved and, uh, and be back in here. So thanks again for everything you do. God bless you all. And I guess uh, after we do, uh, we're going to have chow, sir. After chow, I'd be glad to take a picture with you out there. Go okay. This way, sir. Yep. Right this way. Go. Go.